Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to sum an arithmetic series and our main tool is going to be Gauss's formula which we'll derive along the way. So let me set up the problem for you. First we fix A and D in the real numbers, although this works with complex numbers as well just in case you're wondering. The A is called the initial term and the D is called the common difference. And what the terms look like are like this. A, A plus D, so we skip ahead by D, then A plus 2D, and we keep going until we have A plus KD. And what we want to do is find the sum of all these terms. So it'll look like this, a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d all the way through to a plus kd. And we want to find a formula for this. Let's say um, f, a, d, and k. k is um, one less than the number of terms. That, that uh, is a closed formula. So let's start by seeing if we can simplify the problem. The first thing I notice is that there's a lot of A's. There's an A here, and an A here, and here, all the way through here. So there's an A in every term. The number of terms, we can count it like this. We have 1, 2, we're, we're looking at the coefficients of D, all the way through to K. And over here we have a K plus 1th term. So there's k plus 1 copies of a plus we have d plus 2d all the way through to kd and we can write this again in a slightly more simplified form by factoring out the d so we get d times 1 plus 2 all the way through to k so really this is the bottleneck that we need to find this sum the sum of the first k integers positive integers so let's see if we can do that that's where Gauss's formula comes into play and we're gonna derive it there's a trick there are actually two tricks to it so the trick trick one is let x equal to 1 plus 2 plus all the way through to k. So we're letting a variable equal to the sum. That's the first trick. And the trick 2 is right backwards. So x is also equal to k, well let me write that again backwards. So x is also equal to k plus k minus 1. So writing it in the other direction all the way through to 2 plus 1. And over here let's write it as k minus 1 plus k so that we have a few extra terms to experiment with. What I want you to notice is what happens to corresponding terms. 1 plus k is k plus 1. 2 plus k minus 1 is also k plus 1 and if we keep going like that we find that corresponding terms sum to k plus 1. So what can we do with this? Well we can take the sum of these two equations so what we get is 2x equals to k plus 1 times the number of terms which is k and that tells us that x is equal to k times k plus 1 over 2 so we found it that this is this over here is equal to 1 plus 2 all the way through to k now we can combine it with our earlier formula. 
which is this over here. We can write it as the following k plus 1 times a plus d times k times k plus 1 over 2 and that's the closed formula that we were looking for over here. So great, we have a closed formula for the sum of the terms of an arithmetic series in terms of the initial term, the common difference, and the number of terms. But this is kind of hard to remember. We've got this formula here, but it's not that easy to remember. So let's see if we can find a better way of stating it. The formula in terms of A, D, and K is equal to, I'll just rewrite it here, K plus 1 times A plus D times K times K plus 1 over 2. What you might notice is that the K plus 1 appears here and it appears over here, so we can factor it out. So we get K plus 1 times A plus dk over 2 and that is equal to k plus 1 we're going to combine this into one fraction so we get 2a plus dk over 2 and then we can write this as k plus 1 times a plus a plus dk over 2 I'm going to scroll up a little bit so you can see what's going on here. Notice that the first term in the series is A and the last term is A plus KD and the number of terms is K plus 1. So let's scroll back to our new formula now. So this formula here is all it's saying is that this is equal to the number of terms times the average of initial and last terms. Because we have a division by two and we have a sum so we're taking the average we're taking the average of A and A plus DK. Okay, so that proves the formula. Um, the last thing I want to mention is that it is possible to inductively derive this formula. So induction, oops, I wrote that like a literal duck. Induction works, uh, but you have to there are two things. One, you have to guess the formula. And two, it's mechanical. Mechanical verification. So it's not, not as illuminating as the direct proof that we had over here. So I, I still recommend using Gauss's method to derive it. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.